Hello and welcome back to this course. In this session, we will see the brief description of ST-Link, which is the official debugger IC manufactured by ST. If you see the target board, this upper portion of the board is called ST-Link debugger section. This is the debugger IC and the crystal clock source that drives this IC. There is a mini USB port used for connecting to the system having the composite configuration. What is this composite configuration? I'll discuss later in this section. These are the pins for ST-Link connected using jumper cap. If you remove this jumper cap, then this upper circuitry will be disconnected from this main MCU board. That means this debugger IC will be disconnected from this MCU section and you will not be able to write or program this MCU. So in order to program the MCU using ST-Link debugger, these pins need to be connected. Next is SWD. These are the pins that can be used to program other ICs apart from this main MCU. Using this SWD pins, we can program other ICs that support serial wire debug protocol using this same ST-Link debugger. What I mean by saying this is, if you break the board from here, that means we separate the debugger and the MCU board. Then what happens is, we cannot program using this ST-Link. Now, this MCU will have dedicated pin for SWD that is used for serial wire debugging. So, by using this pin, connected to the dedicated pins of MCU, we can program the board. Now I hope the idea is clear that this is a standalone debugger right now connected to this board, but you can program using this debugger other MCUs as well. Now let's discuss what is the composite configuration of USB. Composite configuration means a single USB can act as a multiple interface for different classes. Like if you have this nuclear board, then whenever you connect it to the system, you will notice that the ST-Link debug interface will be used, enumerated as a USB drive over your system. That means a new drive appeared for this connected board. Now, using this USB, you can program the controller. That means you are communicating with the device through UART, that is USB serial communication, which is a CDC class of USB. What is CDC class? Don't pay much attention on this terminologies. These are related for USB. Next is that it appears as a drive. So this is mass storage device class. That means MSC. Now at the same time, if your board get older or it's been a long time using the board, then when you connect the board after a long time, you need to upgrade this ST-Link debugger or you need to upgrade the firmware. So you can do this also because ST-Link debug interface is also enumerated as device firmware upgrade. So this three composition of USB is configured whenever you connect the nuclear board to your system. One more important thing, if you have worked over Arduino platform or used Arduino IDE, then you must be aware that whenever you connect the Arduino development board, whether it is Uno or Nano, you have to do two important things before uploading the code. Number one, you have to select the board, which board are you using? Next is the port at which the board is connected. But in the case of STM32 controllers, you do not need to look for the board as well as the port on which the board is connected. It is automatically configured. Just you connect the board and upload your program. It's as simple as that. That's all for this session. See you in the next one. Thank you.